Hi friends, you are back with me, Professor Girish Kukreja. So today we'll be talking about uh, one of the commonest tests, probably which you might be doing in your uh, biochemistry lab. That is your anine hydrine test. As soon as you hear this particular word, anine hydrine, the another word probably which will come into your mind is your amino acid, right? One of the commonest, you can say, test to qualitatively find out that whether the given sample it contains an amino acid or not is your anine hydrine test. Like if I, if I am also performing a typical paper chromatography uh, of amino acid to separate them or to calculate the RF value, uh, there also the developing reagent which I use uh, that is also a typical anine hydrine. Again, the third thing which comes into my mind is uh, the purple color. So, ninhydrin, it reacts with your amino acids and it forms a purple colored complex. Like that helps you to detect that whether there is a presence of a amino acid in that or not, right? So, today what we'll be talking about is what exactly is happening uh, between this ninhydrin and your amino acid to give uh, this particular purple colored complex, right? So, ninhydrin, also known as your triketohydrindin uh, hydrate, like wonderful name there right try keto hydrin din hydrate it i was finding it difficult to remember so i thought i'll write it down here but you please remember that so it is try keto hydrin din hydrate the nin hydrin right it acts as a strong oxidizing agent so whenever it meets the amino acids there it will go and meet amino acid it is not going to just say hi there to the amino acid it will go and like being a strong oxidizing agent it oxidatively deaminates this amino acid so in presence of this uh, nin hydrin your amino acid is oxidatively deaminated, right? So once your amino acid is oxidatively deaminated, it results in the formation of a reduced, what you call as a ninhydrin, right? So this reduced ninhydrin, right? It results in the formation of this product, which we call as your hydrin dantin. So this results in the formation of what is called as your hydrin dantin, right? So reduced ninhydrin, what you can say. And uh, corresponding aldehyde is formed from this amino acid. There is a liberation of your carbon dioxide and your ammonia. So, ninhydrin oxidizes this amino acid, liberates ammonia, which is actually going to show the reaction later. So, it reacts, uh, uh, oxidizes this, uh, liberates carbon dioxide, liberates ammonia and a reduced form of ninhydrin that is hydrin dantin. This liberated ammonia here, yeah, this is the culprit here. <laughs> so, this ammonia, similar ammon uh, same ammonia here, is going to now react with the ninhydrin again. So, another ninhydrin molecule here, the reduced form of ninhydrin which we had here, the hydrin dantin. So, hydrin dantin along with ninhydrin, uh, along with this ammonia, is going to form your colored product, the purple colored complex which you see, which we call as diketohydrin, right? Uh, also popularly called as your uh, romance purple. So, the purple colored complex which you get, I have written it with yellow, uh, I am sorry but it is purple, <laughs> right. So, the purple colored complex which you form after uh, reacting your amino acid uh, with your ninhydrin is this Ruman's purple. So, again to summarize what happened is ninhydrin oxidized the amino acid, liberated the ammonia, ammonia it combined with ninhydrin, the reduced form of ninhydrin, hydrin dantin and form dry ketohydrin or the Ruman's purple. All the amino acids, they will give you uh, this kind of reaction. Uh, you will find like some amino acids, uh, like if you talk about amino acids, especially your proline or hydroxyproline, they will give you this yellow colored complex. So, uh, this is not the yellow colored complex form. So, a different product is formed, which is of yellow color. So, your amino acids, remember the proline and hydroxyproline, they will give a, a different product, which is yellow in color. Uh, you will find aspergine also, like since it liberates a free amide group, not an ammonia. So, that amide group also gives a brownish tinge to this particular purple complex. Uh, to perform this particular test in a typical laboratory, like if I am qualitatively trying to find out ki whether uh, my sample it contains an amino acid or not, I will prepare a 0.2 percent solution of ninhydrin, 0.2 percent solution of ninhydrin in acetone. So, 0.2 percent of ninhydrin. So, I will take around 0.2 grams of ninhydrin, dissolve it in some 10, 20 ml of my acetone, take the volume to around 100 ml that will give me a 0.2 percent solution of your of my ninhydrin in acetone. I will take some 1 or 2 ml of my test solution, I will add few drops of ninhydrin to it and then I will uh, what you call is observe if there is a color change. So, formation of a purple or blue violet colored complex indicates that there is an amino acid there. If I do not get a reaction there, I will boil it 
for uh, say one or two minutes at 100 degrees Celsius and if I get a purple colored complex it indicates that there is presence of this particular uh, amino acid. Similarly, like you must have seen when you are also spraying this uh, ninhydrin reagent, this is the same reagent which is sprayed on your chromatography paper when you are performing the paper chromatography of amino acid. So, there also you prepare the same 0.2 percent of your ninhydrin acetone, spray it, it and then you keep it in the oven for a uh, few minutes. So, that uh, uh, like forms this romance purple. So, remember that ninhydrin reacts with pre amino acids to form a purple colored complex. So, stay tuned with me, Professor Girish Kukreja, for more in biochemistry, molecular biology, and microbiology. Thank you.